Boise's geothermal system is a really special asset. It's one of very few systems like it nationally. Um, it pumps hot water out of the ground and then circulates around through downtown uh, heating buildings primarily. And I'm Steve Hubble. I'm the climate action manager for the city of Boise. The geothermal system provides an option for building owners to connect to a clean, locally generated energy source. Many of our local residents don't even know that we have this amazing geothermal resource right beneath our feet. And so that's really why we've designed this exhibit, to capture that wow factor, but also to educate them on the importance of this resource. Hi, my name is Cindy Bush. I'm the education manager here at the Watershed Education Center. We're looking at some geothermal water pipes, both historically and what we use today. And so look how cool this historical wooden pipe is. It even had to have these metal coils around it to hold it together and withstand that hot water. In the center is kind of our transitional pipe that was used in the 1950s to 1990s. It does contain asbestos. And so we've moved away from that model and now we're using these fiberglass composite pipes today. We're down here at 8th and Bannock. This is the backbone of our system. These are some of the largest geothermal lines that we have in our system. Uh, my name is John Gunnarsson. I'm our geothermal coordinator. We have approximately 21 miles of pipe, uh, about half and half, uh, half supply line carrying this hot water to buildings, then half collection lines taking it from the buildings. We have uh, approximately 150 different isolation valves, uh, currently heating 94 buildings, approximately six and a half million square feet of downtown building spaces heated by geothermal water. So we're inside of our well house number two. This is our primary production well. This is, uh, this is the motor that's pulling uh, the naturally heated 177 degree geothermal water out from the aquifer. Uh, this well goes about 600 feet down. Uh, the water is pumped out, sent through a network of pipes where along this we, we monitor pressure of the system, flow rate of the system, temperature of the system, and, uh, and then eventually it is sent out through the floor and out to the city. The, these wells were drilled in 1983 and uh, came online uh, that same year. Um, uh, initially, we were only serving about 25 buildings downtown, and uh, that's been a number that's been growing uh, consistently ever since, and, uh, and we've got lots of room for continued growth and expansion of the system. So we've always had a vision to go across the river and serve Boise State University. And, and now we're serving 11 buildings uh, over at Boise State University, and they're using it for their primary heat in those 11 buildings, uh, plus some of these, uh, these alternative uses. This water is used primarily for space heating, but, but also for domestic water heating, uh, a handful of swimming pools, uh, our downtown YMCA swimming pools are heated by it, the Elks Hospital has therapy pools heated by it, uh, sidewalk snow melt, laundry facilities, uh, a, a whole handful of direct use applications. The geothermal system is almost completely free of carbon emissions that contribute to climate change. There's, there's no fossil fuels used in its process. It's also a completely renewable and closed loop system. So every drop of warm water that's pulled out of the ground is ultimately uh, injected back into the ground to keep the aquifer uh, replenished and, and plentiful. Every building that uses geothermal uh, has this plaque on the front of their building that signifies the use of this geothermal as users of the buildings or tenants of the building, they know that this building is using a clean resource. I love to nerd out on this topic. It's really fascinating to me. I love the look on someone's face when they first learn about geothermal and this resource beneath our feet. Um, many people just do not know that this simply exists and then all the amazing things that the city is doing with the resource. I really love my job. I, I love what I do here. I love working on the, on the geothermal program. A geothermal is a great uh, clean energy alternative that we have available in Boise. The city's currently developing a climate action roadmap. That'll be our plan for how we work towards uh, making our community more carbon neutral and reducing emissions. There's a lot of resilience in the city's geothermal system. First of all, it's locally controlled and it's not dependent on fuel. Other fuel sources have to be brought here. Um, this resource is right here local, uh, ready to go. The, the original system is, is, is aging. So, so right now we are taking a very aggressive, uh, proactive manner on replacing the system. These cut lines that we're seeing, these are these were the original service lines that served the Hoff building. Uh, the Hoff building being one of our largest geothermal customers. 
Uh, th th these are the old lines that are cut right now. We're laying the new pipe, and then we're gonna be making new connections on this and actually running brand new lines into the Hoff building to make sure that it's, uh, they have a reliable service. We're always looking for innovative uses of this resource. We also want to explore, does it make sense to introduce recreation? Do we want a hot springs in Boise? Uh, again, we're looking at power generation. There's year-round food production options uh, by, by constructing greenhouses that we can grow foods year-round. It's a really special resource for us. Uh, this is the largest uh, direct geothermal heating system in the United States, and there's really only a handful of others in the country as well. Right now it's a heating district, but, but our, our finger's always on the pulse for, for future innovation and other uses of it.